What's up guys, Jake Sleeves with Blue Collar Outdoors and today we have the Weatherby SA459 back out. We got another potential custom load from Kinetic Gunworks. Stay tuned. If you haven't seen the other video yet, uh, we did just pattern this with a different choke and a different load in ounce and three quarter. So make sure to go check that out. I'm not going to break down what's all in that because we are here to film this today. So you can see right here, this gun is done up. And if you like what you see here, there's a link in the description. Kinetic Gunworks. Now this is his personal go-to. It is a 20 gauge, clearly. Then you got all the laser engravings, the Cerakote. Gun looks absolutely awesome. And today, he is down here with us, and he brought a bunch of guns he's done up, he hunts with. So we're just putting them through the BCO range and seeing what we can get for patterns. And I gotta say, it's three for three. They've been outstanding, so it's pretty cool. Is that a level? Yes. Ah, it's kicked. There we go. No, you're good. It ain't, it ain't that say bad. It can't be that bad. No, just, I, I pick up on those little things. I don't know what the hell's wrong with me. But, so today, we have, like I said, this could potentially be, oh, this is, okay, nines. It's an ounce and three quarter of straight nines. And now, if you're looking for this, this is another one. It's just going to be probably a custom. So this isn't going to be a regular in-stock item, just like the last shell we, we patterned, which it hammered. If, you're, if you like the performance you see here and you do want this, go down in the link, get a hold of him, and then tell him what you want. He will load it up, but it's not going to be a regular in-stock item. And that goes for everything for Gunworks, too. If you, you might as well check it all out. But we have that, and then the choke we're going to use is the Jebs Headhunter 560. And I'm thinking this combination with ounce and three quarters of straight nines in this Weatherby should give us a, a killer pattern at 40 yards, but you never know. So we're going to find out, and there's only one way to do it. And that's to put it on that Birchwood Casey down there and see what happens. So let's just get right to it. I'm going to lower this, so you might as well turn that off. All right, so once again, we got a custom one and three quarter ounce of straight nines to put through this Weatherby SA459 with the Jebs 560 Headhunter. We're at 40 yards, and that Birchwood Casey looks like he needs a little TSS, so let's just see what will happen. Oh, I got it kicked a little bit. That's a, the one thing I don't like about this is it kind of kicks the gun. You almost have to find that like perfect balance point. There we go. You're good. Yep. That's just shooting high for me. Yeah, maybe it's just for you. See, that's that's the one thing. Speaking of that, I had one guy say that if you zero reflex and you look at it at any other point, it should hit dead true. And I've never seen that to be true. Have you? No, if you move your head left or right or down too far or up it's, too high, it's, it adjusts to what you're... Have you seen that too? Because I had someone say that if you zero a reflect... You don't have to record this part, but I want to say something else. All right, so I shot high again. <laughs> Consistency is key. But it looks good, so we're going to go down there and we're going to scribble some circles. A whole mess of them. And then we'll put the 12 on and we'll see how it did. Let's get to it. Good. Oh, you are recording. Oh, you got birds with Casey all over your hands. Is there? Other hand. You got glitter on you. Don't you get that on the camera or the tripod because you know I hate glitter. I will never go near it again. I'll buy a whole new camera. All right. No, da, da, da. You did it too, didn't you? You son of a... I used that for broad head tests. All right. All right, so once again, that was the Weatherby SA459 with the Jebs Headhunter 560 and a potential new custom load from Kinetic Gunworks. It's ounce and three quarters straight nines at 40 yards. 
So once again, I shot high, but even being high, we still killed them. We attacked the base of the snood. We smacked the snood, the tip of it. But we got a bunch in the brain, one in the spine. But what we're looking at right now is there's a couple more flyers than the other one, but that is not bad at all. I mean, ounce and three quarters of nines to control it like that, that's a good pattern to me. Now, a lot of people will want a uh, screaming tight core. I think once we take this off, I think you're going to achieve that. But this is just a really good hunting pattern. But there's not really too much to say right now. It's just that's a really good pattern. You only got a couple flyers. But let's get this off. Oh, yeah. And mark the rest of these and get the 12 on there, the BCO 12, and see what's up. All right, so we got the BCO 12, which is drawn on here. So, that is hammer. That right there, uh, once again, this, this hammered. We have the eights over nines in ounce and three quarter over there. And then we have the straight nines here. With the straight nines, you definitely have better coverage of the 12 because you have that, that shot count. But you do get some leeway outside of it, but Realistically, at 40 yards, having 12 inches of, of pure cover, a couple of minute voids, but you're going to hammer them. And you could probably tinker with some chokes if you wanted to get it tighter, but to me, this right here is going to absolutely mark turkeys. I mean, you got a ton right here, and you got a ton just outside that. That's perfect for me. And being an ounce and three quarters, to only have a couple flyers down on the bottom maybe a couple on the right, it's, that is not bad. Most of that load is right here, and that's what you're looking for. So that setup right there, that would be one good setup to take to the woods because if you do have to push the shot to 60, uh, I do believe this would be just fine at 60, but 40 and under, even where I like to shoot them under 20 to 20 yards, all this is going to suck in, and I'm going to get, a really good pattern to work with in close where I like killing turkeys and I like leeway because when you're self filming your hunts you're checking the camera half the time I shoot them with one hand on the gun one hand on the camera try not to get busted there's so much going on leeway is a really good thing and I can tell you right now you're still gonna freaking hammer them. so I mean it's all up to you however you hunt but this pattern right here, I feel like you couldn't really have too many complaints with it. Even if you really like it tight, because I mean, you do have a ton right there. But if you could tinker with some chokes, you could probably get it tighter. If that, that floats your boat, it's all up to you, man. It, there ain't nothing wrong as long as it fits how you hunt and you like it, roll with it. But I'll let Moose zoom in here so you guys can count it. And then drop your comments on the count and I'll pin it so we can see what's there. I'm kind of curious to see the difference in count because there is quite a bit more in the 12 with the 9s and the 8s over 9s, but you're going to have that just to shot count itself. Good. <clears throat> but once again, that was Weatherby SA-459. It's Eric's gun from Kinetic Gunworks. He's down here with us. Brought four of his guns up. They're freaking sweet looking guns. We're going to be putting them all on paper so you get a chance to check them all out. And uh, we're going to test some new loads, some old loads, all from Kinetic Gunworks and see what we can put on paper. And so far, the, the performance has been... Uh oh, he's after it. But, but as always, I'm going to keep this one short. Smash the thumbs up button for your boys. Drop your comments below. Let us know what you thought. Let us know what you hunt with. Whatever you want to do, put it in the comments. Make sure to subscribe. Check us out on Rumble. Rumble's going to allow us to have more hunting style, more gun content that we can't put onto YouTube because we get demonetized. So check that out on Rumble. We're going to build that following. We're still going to post all our uploads to YouTube. That ain't changing. So don't, don't worry. I saw a couple people say don't leave YouTube. We're not leaving. But down in the description, we'll have a link to Kinetic Gunworks, so if you want to check out any of the loads he has, the custom gun work he does, any of that will be right there. You can get right a hold of them, get that all squared away. But 
and our website of course but that's irrelevant anyways we got more to shoot we got to get some new backers up here and kill some more birchwood cases jake sleesman blue collar outdoors catch you on the next one